Hey guys, Mossin here. It is currently the 7th of April, two days before my birthday. So I'm currently 14, but I'll be 15 when you're watching this. But right now, I got a new unboxing video and a new package to open. So, let's do some unboxing. Alright, so I'm going to try ripping it open first. And that works. Thank God. Ooh, alright. So, we have the figures right here actually, and now we open this up, no, they're actually a lot smaller than I expected. Alright, so, here, alright, so we've got each of the turtles here, and just take them out. So, here we have the four turtles, and I'm just going to take them out one by one. We'll start off with Mikey. So, they all come with their signature weapons, and uh, these are the original 2012 variants. These are the original 2012 variants. And I got these mainly because I wanted the battle shell figures, but I got these for their weapons. Yeah. Alright. The head doesn't move. We got Mikey here for forever facing downwards. So, oh. all right. Well, let's put his weapons in his hand. These actually don't fit in their hand. So I got one in. Alright, so basically what's happening here is that I'm twisting the ball joints with the wrapper in order to move them around because the ball joints were stiff. Alright, so I got his head moving. Just had to crack it a bit. And, alright, so here we got Mikey. Alright, next we'll do Donny. Here we got Donny. Next up we got Raf. Here we got Raphael. Here we got Raf. And last but not least, we have Leo. And we have Leo. Alright, so here we have each of the figures I just got with the giant battle shell versions. So essentially, they've basically got the same uh, face, like, same face sculpt. Just enlarged because you the only difference is that the smaller figures have whited out eyes. So, let's take a closer review on this. All right, so these figures, uh, I got these off eBay, so I, I don't expect them to be perfect, uh, they're clearly used. But, uh, the thing about these, these toys are that 
the, the paint is kind of scuffed, but that makes sense getting them from eBay. And it's kind of a pain to get the weapon into their hands. Like, let me try and get it in here right now. It takes a lot of effort to get one of their weapons into their hands. Now, the main thing about uh, these are that their head is on a ball joint, so it can move around like 360. And you can also take it off. And if you want to do some swapping, you can get someone else's head. And just put it on the, like, I don't know, say for example. Oh no, this looks weird, but Donnie with Ruff's body and his weapons. Looks kind of funny. Alright, so first off, let's take a look at the weapons. So, these weapons are made out of, like, a grey plastic moulded into their weapon. And it's not really detailed, but on a figure this small, you wouldn't really expect it to be. The arm here is, it's on like a ball joint kind of thing. It's like, because it can move 360. And the elbows, you have an elbow bend here. You have a wrist swivel. So you can, same for this arm. And then for the legs, you've got a leg bend there. Or a knee bend, same thing. And yeah, the head can turn 360. Now I'm going to compare the miniature version to the giant version. So seeing the size comparison when you compare these two, it's just like, whoa. Like, there's a big difference. And another difference between these is their foot sculpts. I think the foot sculpt for the giant ones was uh, originated from the battle shell turtles. Because, yeah. I've lost all the weapons, but... Oh, wait. I just realized something. Raphael doesn't have a crack in his shell. You can see here that he's meant to have a crack there. But he doesn't. I need to fix that. Well, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but... Eh, close enough. Now, the thing is, I'm trying to question if these are even real ones. They might be just straight-up fakes. So guys, that's it for this part, and I'll see you guys on the next time, well, the next time you'll see me, which will be in a couple seconds for you, but for me it'll be around the 11th of April, which is four days from now, so I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, Mossin here, and you might be wondering why does he look like absolute dog poo, because I just woke up. So today is Monday the 11th of April, and today I have some good news and some bad news. We'll go over the bad news first just to get it over with. These figures that I got recently are actually counterfeit. I can tell because Raphael is meant to have a crack there, and as you can see I had to draw that in myself. But the good news is, we got two of our battle shell turtles today. Here it says fragile on the side. And I think that might be a bit overkill. But, I have my, a new trusty pen to open it with. Psych, I lied. It's actually a knife. Alright. Cut a hole. And now, we expand the hole with the scissors. Alright, let's get this open. I think it might be a bit overdone calling it fragile. Right. So now we can take this off. The box does not look look like it's in a very good material considering it's in this soft box. Let's open this up. Ooh, bubble wrap. Always love a bit of bubble wrap. Got a note here. Yeah. Thank you very much for your purchase. Thanks again, John. Let's get into lots of bubble wrap. And then have my ear. 
Now, what I expect this to be is Battleshell, Leonardo, and Michelangelo. Let's see if I got what I ordered. Alright. Let me see what I hope it is. Yes. Alright. So, here we have Michelangelo. Battleshell Michelangelo. And here we have Leonardo. Oh my god. Wow, look at them. Right, so I got my original uh, Michelangelo, and here's the Battleshell Michelangelo. Now, these look very different. Now, as you'll see, these on the, uh, on the body have a lot less detail. And this one, the thing, the bandana is much more bright. But then again, these are fake, so I wouldn't really. I don't, I'm not really sure I'm qualified to compare them with these figures. All right, so I, I this one didn't come in with any weapons, so I got the weapons from this Mikey. Have them right here. So let's see how they fit in his hand. Ooh fitting better than they did in that one. Mikey's got both of his weapons. Now, if you remember in the last part, it took me a while to get these weapons into their hands. Now let's put it into the back. Oh, fit right in. It took me, I, I couldn't even put these into, into this one. I literally just stuffed them up here and then just left it there. But these, these just, just close them up and then they just fit in right there. Amazing. Oh my god. So cool. Now, these heads like the other ones should be on a ball joint. So I should be able to take it off. Which I'm currently not able to do. Alright, well I got Leo's one off. Well we don't need to, the head to come off do we? Now, as I mentioned before, these are the Battleshell Turtles. And the Battleshell Turtles are about their shells opening up, opening up to store extra weapons. Now, I don't have any of their weapons, their extra weapons that go into their shells. But that's not really a big deal for me. I'm just caring about the Turtles and their main weapons. Alright, that's Mikey done. Now, we got Leo. Alright, so Leo is completely completely different as well to the original turtle to the original figure but again these aren't real figures so i can't really compare them accurately but yeah both of these are on a ball joint so i could easily just swap off their heads just Okay, I just figured out something. These ball joints are completely different sizes. If you can tell, this one is just barely bigger. So if I try to put this one on, it just sits there. Now, I have got Leo's weapons here, but we have a problem for storage because no sheath on his back to put the katanas in, unlike this one. But this one's literally molded into the belt, so can't really take it off. So it's back to using blue tack for these. But let's see if they fit in his hand. So, we have Leo here. One sword here. Ooh, that was easy. That was really simple. Got one sword in his hand. You can see this, it's been a few days since I reviewed these. It's been like four days. And you can tell this sword's already bent from me trying to fit it into the sheath and it not fitting. Both swords fit into his hand. Now, I'm going to have to go get some blue tack so I can fit on his back. Alright, so I've got 
some blue tack from my sister. And now let's make Leo his sheet. All right, now let's put these onto his back. It's really just simple. You just have to just place it on the blue tack and then just push it in that. All right, so that's one sword done. Doesn't really look that bad. And we, if you really want to do something cool, just do it like that. And then just to be safe, I uh, move the blue tack onto his shell. Yay. So you, you'll see that I didn't go really into much de detail about these figures. But that's because I'm going to go all on about it in the next part, in the next time you see me. With the battle shell Raphael and Donatello. Until then, I'll see ya. Hey guys, Mossin here. It's currently the 16th of April. Which is two days after this was supposed to come. Yeah, this came two days late, so let's unbox it now. We've got Mikey and Leo right here, so this should be Raph and Donnie. And we'll compare it with these two. Or we'll do a separate part later comparing both of them. And I've got their weapons here. Let's do this. This box is actually really small, let me compare them. Oh my god. Alright, they might actually be too empty. Wait a minute, is that a Tesco bag? Oh, alright. Here we have Raphael and Donatello. So, let's make a comparison. Now, the main difference between these is their holsters in the back. So, as you can see, they're not really the same. They're actually the same size. Oh. All the other ones, the hostels have been smaller on these figures because they're fakes. Let's fit Raph Sai in. And yeah, that works. That's fine. Oh. Let me put them in his hands. Here we got Raph with his size. And now we got Donny here, so let's see if his weapon fits. Oh, perfectly. Let's compare the holsters. Do you see that size difference? It's barely noticeable, but you can tell that there's really a size difference. Alright, so later on in the video, I'm going to be doing a close look at all eight of these. I'm going to go over the original ones first, which are actually fakes, but eh. And then I'm going to go over the Battleshell ones. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, Mossin here. Been a couple seconds for you guys, but been a couple hours for me. So let's get on to reviewing these bad boys. So I'm going to start by just taking one in general and just looking at the main things about them. We'll start off with Raphael, because, yeah, why not? He's my favorite turtle. So we've got Raphael here. You can see here that um, this face mold, uh, well, considering these are fake, this face mold is really good for something fake. It looks exactly like the original. Hold on, let me put it up on here and you guys will see right here. So these actually do look kind of similar. Like if you compare that, you can kind of tell. Now as you can see uh, in the previous part where I first unboxed these, I had I made my own little details. I even drew in a crack right there because his is meant to have a crack like this one. Hold up. Now the paint job on these is kind of dead look at like the the brown on the arm isn't even covering the whole strap on and on the, look at this as well this here uh just horrible paint job in general and let's go over posability so we've got arm going 360 degrees we've got like an elbow bend we got swivel at the uh, thing on the elbow joint we also got a wrist swivel here now uh, a head can go Oh, that's a bit stiff. Can go 360. Leg, also 360. This as well. Now, this is made of like solid plastic, which is different to that one because those are made of like a soft rubbery material. We'll get onto them when we go onto them. Now, for how you compose them, you can like, they are kind of like really poseable because you can 
move the feet up and down to to like adjust how they stand like that because of how the feet are placed so now let's talk about how the weapons fit into their holsters side note they don't so we've got his swords here and we've got his sheath look do you see how much of a struggle that's taking i'm pushing with all the force i can it's not going in i'm, I'm gonna end up bending it leo's ones ain't fitting in now let's look at mikey's weapons let me get them out from the battle shell oh yeah let's talk about hands as well you see me like really struggling right do you see how much of a gap that is there there's barely a gap well let's see how they fit in the holsters surely they fit in there where he's meant to keep them right are you kidding me the holster itself is as big as is, is as wide as his nunch do you see that there's no chance of that fitting in what i did before was just stuff this there but then every so often it would get rattled around with this no go for him all right now let's see Raphael. now you'll see that uh, i talked about how his and the battle shell holsters are pretty much the same so they'll fit in perfectly like that fits in perfectly now the hands the hands is the problem look at that gap and I'm meant to fit this in. This is what I call torture. Now, Donatello. Let's see if the holster fits. Alright, we're gonna go with the smaller end. Let's see if this fits. Yep, nope, jammed already. Easy to take out though. Let's see how the new battle shell turtles compare to the Leonardo. The paint job on these is like much more well done, but these are official figures, so good finish. The wraps, neatly done. Yeah, not bad. Now, let's talk about posability. Essentially, it's the same as the others. Head goes 360. Arm goes 360. Elbow goes 360. Go up and down. Wrist goes 360. Leg goes 360. Now, the other feature about these is that their shells open up. That's why they're called a battle shell turtles. Raphael, you can see that deep red on contrast to this abomination. Look at that comparison. This Raphael has nothing on this guy. Now you can see the sh the thing. The crack over here is built into Raphael. Got Donatello. Here you can actually see the gap in his tooth there now the color of the bandana is pretty much the same as this donatello here pretty much the same now something else i realized is how the bandanas on here are like fully like a rubbery plastic this one is just soft and like you can move that like just barely around this is just like molded into place this is like flexible and we have mikey Here's one, he's got the nice neon orange. Now, let's do the holster test. So we're gonna see if their weapons fit into their holsters. Let's see. Oh wait, oh my god, it goes fully in. Let's compare the holsters. Do you see that difference, how much wider this one is? Now, let's do the hand test. Yup, fits in great. Donny, holster test. Ooh, smooth. Off the comparison. Actually, they don't look too different, but somehow this one's too small to fit in. Oh, this one's not. Now the hand test. Ooh, you're gonna need a bit of force, but still gets in. Let's go Raph. Holster test. Nice. It's basically the same as the other one, so we don't really need a holster comparison for this. But we do need hand test. This guy's hand might be tighter than I thought. Ah, there we go. Not for the end, but it works. Kind of. And Leo. Now, we can't do a holster test on this since this one, I didn't know, came without a holster. So let's do the hand test. Fits in nice and tight. For the holster bit, what I'm going to do to fit in is use blue tack. Now let's do a height comparison. So we got Mikey being the shortest, Raph being second, hold up, Raph being second, Leo being third, and then Donnie being the tallest. 
that's how the general uh, generally is meant to go. Now let's see how it is with these guys. Oh, that light's coming. So, Mikey, Raph is Leo taller than Donnie? Oh my God, Leo is taller than Donnie. What? That's not normal. I reached my verdict that I actually reached like as soon as I got these figures. These ones are garbage. These ones are amazing. N nothing else need to be said. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.